Welcome to the middle of nowhere. After driving three miles down a dirt road, you make it to here. One of the most relaxing places in eastern Idaho. About two miles to any neighbor, so it's really are you are in the middle of wildlife. You know, there really is a lot of very natural setting here. Maple Grove's Hot Springs was settled over a hundred years ago in a very remote area next to the Oneida Narrows Reservoir. After it being closed to the public for 40 years, Barbara came in with a vision, dug up this gem, and reopened it in 2003. Native Americans have always held Hot Springs to be a sacred place and a place where you're cl close to Mother Nature. And so we wanted to keep the relaxation and the option to get in tune with any, you know, spiritual connection that someone might have. But more than that, they wanted to make this a place that was centered around family. So there are plenty of options to please everyone. It's nice to be able to have your whole family, but enough different temperatures of water that each of you finds your favorite. You know, you can all be Goldilocks and find the one that's just right. Although in the winter, many people go there to soak beyond the hot pools, the activities waiting for you on the reservoir and in the public lands around it are endless year round. You can canoe, kayak, float on tubes, um, water ski, jet ski. There's a boat ramp two miles south of us. There's quite a bit of fishing. There's um, smallmouth bass and walleye in the reservoir, as well as the carp and catfish and a little bit of trout. The land is also suited for camping and includes trailers, yurts, and a house to rent, so the fun doesn't have to stop at sunset. The pools also are open around the clock for those who are interested in late night soaking. What a great escape from the city to be able to come out and play in a place where it's almost like a national park and you really are getting to just hang out in a beautiful canyon and enjoy the scenery. Reporting in Thatcher, Melissa Hackney, KPVI News 6.